Hey, today we're gonna be making wood fired pizza on our homemade wood fired brick oven. We'll make another video showing how we built this thing. But basically, you're gonna have a little fire that goes right here. It's gonna heat up. We got a little vent holes in the back. It's gonna make the heat come up through here and then smoke and everything come right here. The pizza goes right here. So basically, we start off with our good old good charcoal because we don't use anything besides good charcoal. Burns evenly, burns hot, it's all natural. It's, it's a, a wood that is invasive in Africa, so these people are doing good things. They're cooking up for the community as well. Um, so go get you a bag of that. Get it at Sam's Club, get it at Home Depot. Um, anyway, so yeah, you start that up and get your little wood right here to get it nice, nice and started. This is from Bella Vita. Look at this thing. Yeah, it's on my side. Let's go up here. You want? Let's get your dough from your local pizzeria. I'm gonna have to just give a little flour on there. Ball them up real nice. And we're gonna let Cody, pizza, pizza man, show you how to do it. You all smoke that or something? <laughs> You want it to be real thin. <laughs> We're doing this, uh, we want it to be hot and fast over this fire. I like mine. I like a good thin wood fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's off. It's... I'm not a pizza maker. I make barbecue. No. And this right here? <laughs> yeah. Dude. Look at that. That's good. I impress myself. That's a what? That's called docking. Yeah, it's called the poke. You could call it docking or you could call it poking because that's essentially what you're doing is poking it. I've never heard docking. I'm, really? not, I'm not a pizza boy. No. So I'm guessing this is going to stop the bubbles from forming. Yeah. All right. So now, where's our sauce? All right. Take a little bit of motor oil. Let's give it a little. You get it at your local auto zone. Yeah, this is a 5W40. <laughs> Take you a little bit of this Mexican oregano. Not a must, but I'm gonna do a little bit of this too because I like a little seasoning. I don't know exactly what this is. I've had this made up for like two years probably. It smells good though. All right, and then we're gonna put a little sauce. Again, this is fresh sauce by Bella Vita. Amel. Thank you, brother. And already on. Can't forget. Julian, Cody. Yep, can't forget about the boys. Start from the middle. And this is all preference. If you like sauce, put more sauce on. If you like a little sauce, don't put as much on. If you like more crust, then don't go all the way to the sides. I don't like crust. I like sauce, so I'm gonna do exactly what I'm doing. You want to make sure you don't get your board wet or any sauce or anything on there because you want it to slide off real good. And I've made the mistake of having too much sauce on your board and it just, it's a bad, it's a bad day for pizza. 
Now we're gonna go with a little bit of cheese. This is also some good fresh grated mozzarella, grated by hand from the boys over there at Bella Vita. It's beautiful, beautiful cheese. I love it. Did a great job over there, boys. All right, does that look like it's cheesy enough? And some pizza, pepperoni. You gotta make them into a smiley face. I just hit it with a little drizzle. Drizzle. Grim, grim. These are Italian white onions. A little more of that on top. And then you can't forget. You have to hit it with a little extra for the top. Alright brothers, brothers in arms, this is a pizza right here. It's ready to go. Make sure you can still do the shuffy shuff. Sure we're nice and hot. Clean off your surfaces. Ooh. Handy dandy thermo. Looks like that's high. It's not gonna tell me what it is. 1,008 degrees. Like 550 degrees at least. So we need a little a little bit more heat. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of that in there. Shuffle this on back a little bit. This is the most challenging part of the whole pizza cook. And it is making sure you can get the shuffle before you get it in there, because you want to just shuffle and, shuffle and go. So we're gonna go, go, boom. Got it. Probably won't, probably won't make it look that easy ever again. All right, so we're just gonna let that little baby go. Hopefully, it's gonna be done in less than 10 minutes. This is the first one. It heats up the more you go. We haven't had this heated up for that long, so. Um, the second one will be a little bit faster. This one hopefully will be done in less than 10, but we'll see. So it can't escape with my little bricky brick right here. So that's kind of forcing, keeping that heat in there. It looks like a pizza in there. This is pizza dose. Another little couple few seconds. Look at the bubbles, dude. That thing's alive. This looks pretty good. What do you think about this pizza pie? It's good. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. Look at that. Alright. This ain't New York style, but... No. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Look at the crush. Nice. Can you hear that? Microphone? It doesn't flop. I think it'd give us like a six, six and a half. Good crunch. I mean, I think the flavor's there. Like, it's great. Like, the flavor's super fresh ingredients. 
They're built like six five, solid six five. Yeah. Which I mean, we didn't expect like the best pizza in the whole world. This is just like fun backyard brick oven pizza. Pretty close to the best world. But this is mm -hmm. the best pizza in town. What's Bella Vita? We'll give them that. Great pizza. Best pizza in town. That's about a 7 5. Which is a great score. But. So this is like a, a good, at least a one, one and a half below Bella Vita. Using their ingredients too. So, Bella Vita really made this pizza what it is. If you liked the video, if you learned something, click subscribe down below. Post every week. Also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Project BBQJC. Thank you.